When you meditate, you have to think. You don't just stop thinking when you sit and close your eyes. You have to think in a way that brings the mind down into stillness. And the type of thinking the Buddha recommends is called yonisomanasikara, appropriate attention. Looking at what's going on in your mind and pulling yourself out of your thought worlds. So you can look at them, see where they're coming from, where they're going. And you realize that 99% of them are taking you places you don't really need to go or want to go. And just looking at them in that way helps pull you out so that it's easier to settle down. Because with the intention to sit, there also comes the intention not to sit, and lots of intentions to go thinking about this, thinking about that, or here you have a few minutes to be quiet, so why don't you think about this? Well, think about the breath instead, and look at those voices as they come in, and remember they're not yours. You don't have to identify with them. They're coming up in your mind, of course, but you don't have to identify. Think of that image from a John Lee. Who knows what little germs in, are in there with little thoughts? What spirits may be hovering around you with some past issues from past lifetimes, trying to put thoughts into your mind. In other words, learn to view your thoughts with a little bit of skepticism. And look at them from the point of view of, okay, is there stress here? If there's stress, where is it coming from? What am I holding on to? Where is this going to lead to? Is this a thought that's going to create more stress, more pro problems in the future? When you look at your thoughts in that way, that's called appropriate attention, and then it makes it a lot easier to put them down. And then you look at the breath. Appropriate attention here means how do I cultivate the breath in a way that gives rise to greater concentration, because that's the, the duty with regard to the path. So behind all this matter, pattern of thinking, of course, is the, lie the Four Noble Truths and the duties that they have. So remember, when you're sitting down here, there are ways you can think that actually help apply the Four Noble Truths to what you're doing and get the mind into concentration. You don't wait until the concentration is good and then think about the Four Noble Truths. They're there in the background all the time, and they're there to be used all the time, both to deal with unskillful thoughts and to develop skillful thoughts in their place. And the skillful thoughts will finally then bring the mind to a state of concentration where it's really still. That's called using these teachings for their intended purpose.